And hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, today is gonna be something very simple, it's nothing big. Uh, not gonna be working on my truck or anything, not going for any photo shoot. But no matter of fact, where I'm gonna go and do today is uh, gonna go to Harbor Freight. <laughs> it's uh, one stop for anything on the budget. Um, what I'm planning to buy there to look at, I wanna buy a new case for my all my gear. Because uh, the backpack that I use, uh, I'm kind of overgrowing it. I'm still gonna be using it, uh, like whenever I go to the city or somewhere for some quick photo shoot, I can put most of my gear in there. But now that I have a drone, I have a DJI Osmo Action, I have my camera, my lenses, it doesn't fit all in there. So I wanna pick up some kind of case. There is of course an option for the Helicon cases, but they're so expensive, so gonna go to Harbor Freight and check out the cases that they have over there the prices are much better and the quality is pretty decent so that's where I'm gonna go now and look gonna check it out what else I can buy there even maybe I can find some gear for my truck or something <laughs> so stay tuned guys let's find out hey guys so just checking out this lights over here the light bars and Apparently it's even on sale, 120 bucks. That's pretty good. And these little three-inch lights, $19, but it's only 1,000 looms. So I don't know how that's gonna be good or not. Also have the these guys. One day, one day probably should get those or something similar to that. All right, and here are the cases trying to figure out which one I need which one will fit all my gear all right this is the case I got I opted to go for the slightly smaller version supposedly but it actually has a bigger real estate <laughs> so hopefully there's gonna be more space to put my stuff in so I'm just gonna go back now and start figuring out how I'm gonna organize everything in there so for the longest I was using this backpack and I really liked it a lot. It's a good backpack by Banure. The only thing I kind of put my custom made patches over here. It's a very good quality bag, very sturdy. And it fits a lot of stuff in there. The only thing that as the time goes by, I get more and more stuff. So right here in this compartment, that's where I'm gonna where I keep my camera, my main camera, I keep it in here and yeah, right now it's on a tripod recording anyways uh, in this compartment over here I kept my drone inside this uh, black uh, bag to keep it protected but and over here I kept the joystick which is right here so that was just like that and then over here I kept my batteries and the drone was just always shoved in there and I always worry about the props and the gimbal that it sometimes it comes off over there so I don't want to do that anymore so that's why I decided to go and look for a hard case for that I'm, I'm still gonna keep my camera in here because for the camera this backpack is perfect I have a tripod over here I have a secondary tripod over here in case I need it I have my currently just one lens over here and then once uh, drone will be gone i have another lens i can put in there my the 85 millimeter fixed lens really like this lens a lot so that's where i'm gonna keep in here and some also gonna keep my uh, all my microphone stuff all my cables and probably even all the filters i'm gonna keep in here as well it's a pretty nice compartment for that and over here i have my microphone for the wireless the one i use I found, this was a from, from the headphone case, but I kind of adapted it for that, so I think that's pretty good. But now we have this case, so hopefully I can fit all of my stuff in there. <laughs> Very happy about that. So let's open it up and see how can we organize everything in there. Okay. The case is pretty spacious, if you ask me. Some uh, paperwork, some kind of manual or something, we don't need that. <laughs> okay, so 
as you can see it's very well padded this part over here this comes off there is nothing here so I'm probably gonna either glue it to here or I'm gonna put like a double stick tape or Valkyrie's tape so I can just uh, put it on in any case I can take it off but we'll see so now we have to figure out how we're gonna lay out everything over here and I want to keep my drone in here so that's gonna occupy a lot of space in my remote probably gonna go like this somehow uh, the two batteries from the drone I want to put in there then I also have two batteries that uh, with the camera monitor which is currently mounted on uh, my camera so I can actually see what's going on but I want to keep that in there as well and two batteries and and I'm also thinking to keep my new my newly acquired Asma Auction here as well so we'll see how that's gonna play out and probably the three extra spare batteries I want to keep it in here as well I mean they're small but they shouldn't take too much space hopefully I can make something in here where I can put them and maybe the microphone or maybe I can get some kind of little uh, case that I can put all the where I can put the camera with the microphone and then put it in here we'll have to see about that but as of now this is like that and I would like to keep it like that because for the most part uh, my Asma action camera that's how I'm gonna use it it's probably gonna be get mounted to a chest mount or more likely for the headband mount like uh, be on top of my baseball cap or something so Right now, let's just try to figure out how we can position everything here so it doesn't take too much space because I have quite a few stuff here so the battery is probably gonna go like this I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up with more space in here so I can have a space for my monitor and it also comes with a bracket and some extra material It also comes with this uh, sun blocker and there's an, another extension goes, that goes over here uh, not really sure if I'm ever gonna use it or not more likely yes more likely not but I don't think I'm gonna keep it in here that's gonna be somewhere else okay so let's just put everything on the side for now and start organizing this for the most part I think the drone the drone should go in the middle but I just don't know, should I go it like on the top and then the joystick maybe like this then to have two batteries on the side which is gonna be like that and like that and then I'm gonna have uh, space for one battery actually two batteries because I have two of these and the screen and then probably over here on the side I can fit my Osmo Action maybe like this yeah with extra three batteries which I think and I'm thinking I'm gonna actually take them out from the case because the cases are just gonna add extra bulk but the batteries itself I can just stick them in there like that and that should be fine And now I'm just gonna play with it, trying to figure out how I'm gonna set it all up and not to bore you guys. So from here on on, it's just a time lapse.
And okay everyone, so after uh, quite some time I finally kind of laid everything out the way I wanted. Um, I still have plenty of space over here and over here that's... I'm gonna put something else there. <laughs> I ended up to putting the Osmo Auction over here on the side and to the two batteries over here for the screen that I took off from the camera and fits over here perfect. And I have these two batteries for the drone and two batteries for the monitor, three extra batteries for the Asma Auction, they fit over here perfect. And all of these parts over here, I'm gonna keep it, because in case I need to rearrange, uh, hopefully I can just go back and glue it all over again. Like for instance this one, I took out this one too extra, but I hope with a little bit of glue <laughs> I can put it back in place. But yeah. This is how it looks right now. Let me turn it around. It looks almost professional as well, right? And I have still more space over here and over here I can add something on later on. And like I said, these parts I'm gonna keep in case I maybe can put them back and rearrange this, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, this is how it looks. And I'll close this up as well. Nice. Now I feel very secure about this. So hopefully in the future I'll get more stuff and I can just go ahead and put it over here. And hey, now it's all gonna be safe and protected. It's a very good case I feel like for the price it charges and the build quality seems to be sturdy and the padding over here is pretty nice as well. It doesn't feel, I mean it's just a foam but you can organize and put whatever you want, however you want. Just gotta make sure you plan ahead how you want to put everything in place. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. And, and on this note, everybody, bye.